Did you know that on cargurus.co.uk, not only are there thousands of cars for sale, but we also have hundreds of car reviews. And when my colleague, the fantastic Vicky Parrott, reviewed the Kia Soul EV when it first came out in this latest guise, she said, while the Soul EV is currently only offered with a single highly spec trim level, there's a strong chance that Kia will introduce some cheaper versions with less kit, just as it did with the e-Nero. If you'd rather play less for a modestly equipped version, wait a while and you'll probably be able to get one. Well, Vicky was right. And here it is. We rate the Soul EV. Uh, we think this is a good family electric car. Really like the fact that it just looks a bit different. It's also good to drive, lots of equipment. So excuse me, sort of walking around the car. I'm trying to get out of the wind because we have chosen a particularly windy day to film. The problem with the Soul EV is that as time has gone on, prices have crept up. And so now it's basically a £40,000 electric car. And to put that into context, if you had walked into a Kia dealership just a few years ago with £40,000, you could have left again with a Stinger GTS. Now you get a Soul. So Kia, feeling a bit exposed about this, particularly given the number of new entrants into the electric car market since the Soul EV went on sale, has come up with a lower price point. To do this, it's done two things. One, it's fitted less equipment to this model, and two, it's fitted a smaller battery with a less powerful electric motor. So this, the new, cheaper model, starts at just under £33,000. It's called the Soul Urban, whereas the longer range model is now called the Soul Explore. We'll jump inside, I think, to talk about the batteries and the range, because it'll be warmer. Oh, that's better. Uh, right, so batteries. So the Soul Explore, which is the bigger battery version, still on sale, that has a 72 kilowatt hour battery to give a range of around 280 miles. This car, the Urban, has a 39.2 kilowatt hour battery and that gives an official WLTP range of 171 miles. So it's actually a bit more than Urban, 171 miles, but Kia's calling it the Urban. Um, it also has a less powerful electric motor, we'll get to that whilst we're driving, um, because at the moment I want to talk about what this feels like inside. Um, so, as we said, it's a £33,000 car. Generally, it's good in here. I like this nice silver trim here. It's a nice touch. Um, yeah, generally it's fine, but there are clearly some cost-cutting measures. So you get cloth seats rather than leather. Don't mind that so much. You get an 8-inch screen rather than a 10.25-inch screen. Um, you can still have nav and um, everything via CarPlay and Android Auto. What I'm less keen on, no leather steering wheel, um, no heated seats. Uh, I don't know, in a £33,000 car, that does seem a little bit stingy. On the plus side, practicality is unchanged. So decent uh, rear seat space, loads of headroom in all the seats. The boot's still a bit small though, for a family car, 315 litres. Um, so that is still one drawback of the Soul EV. All right, before we um, set off, I. Forgot to just cover interior quality, so I'm just going to mention it quickly because it's fine um, and there are some like, nice squidgy plastics or materials up here, but there are also quite a lot of hard things and mainly I think it's just a very dark interior. Um, so it feels a bit plain other than these little splashes of colour here and here. It's really quite dark, but anyway, let's get going. I think the dials in the sole are really nice and clear very easy to follow and it's got a little trip computer in the middle that's very easy to adjust and follow as well. Uh, it kind of fits in with the whole um, ease of use that you get with Kias. They're very easy cars to control in general. So with the bigger battery you also get the more powerful motor 210 horsepower. We know that that one does 0 to 62 miles per hour in 7.9 seconds. Actually a bit slower than you'd imagine for a 210 horsepower car but there you go. Um, Kia has not yet published a 0 to 62 time for the Soul Urban. So, in a world exclusive, let's see what it does. So, Andy, my cameraman, you have our accelerometer. I do. Count me down. Three, two, one, go. And we're off. Steps off the line really nicely. 0 to 30, it feels properly brisk. Uh, but let's see, 0 to 60, what's it going to do? 9.1. 9.1. 
9.1. Okay, well that that sounds about right, doesn't it? So about 1.2 seconds slower than the more powerful model. Um, but still, you know, I think nine second cars tend to feel about appropriate for family motoring. And I'd say that this Soul certainly feels appropriate for family motoring. So it's always felt like with 210 horsepower, the Soul EV has almost been a bit too much at times. It will scrabble its tires as you try and put power down, um, particularly in the wet. This car, you don't really get that. It still feels sharp, the pickup's good. Um, and I, you know, I think this is fast enough for a family car. So I think if the range is good enough, most people are not gonna be disappointed by the performance in the cheaper version of the Soul EV. And indeed, the rest of the way it drives. It's, uh, we've said it about the Soul before, it's just a very competent, easygoing, likable family car. So the ride is fine. You know, it's, it's perfectly well cushioned. It's obviously very quiet being an EV. The boxy shape, you do get a bit of wind noise, but it's not terrible. Um, the steering is smooth and consistent to react. The power delivery is lovely. Um, you know, if you haven't driven an EV before, jump into one of these and I think you're gonna really, really enjoy how smooth the power delivery is and how easy it is to drive as well. Um, it does roll a bit around corners. It's not a sports car, but I don't think it was ever trying to be a sports car. And it's really nice to see that while Kia has obviously trimmed back some of the equipment on this, it has kept the adjustable brake regen. So using the paddles here, you can alter between heavy brake regen and very little brake regen. And actually, if you hold this right-hand paddle, it will even go all the way down to a complete stop without you having to touch the brake. Um, just one of those nice little EV features So when I was researching for this video, I went back and watched our original review of the Soul EV. Um, and all the comments from that still stand for this car. It's really only the shorter range that is the consideration here, and obviously whether you're prepared to put up with a bit less equipment. Um, but I was reading the comments underneath the article. One of the comments that one of our lovely watchers had left had said that they had purchased a Soul EV um, having come out of a BMW i3. And the reason was they liked the design, uh, just like they'd like the design of their i3. Now, as an ex-BMW i3 owner myself, I can kind of see the logic there because, okay, the construction and the materials are nowhere near as exotic in this as they are in the i3, but it's the same sort of philosophy and it's a slightly unusual shape. Uh, it's a bit of a different design. It just stands out from the crowd. Um, but of course, in the sole, you get a much bigger interior. Um, so yeah, I think I can see the logic there. As far as charging goes, um, smaller battery takes less time to charge. So on a seven kilowatt home wall box, you're looking at around six hours or so for a full battery. It does rapid charge as well. So on a 50 kilowatt rapid charger, um, it's about an hour to get from naught to 80%. And being a Kia, it comes with all the cables that you need as well, as well as a really annoying lane departure warning system. Now the other thing you get with a smaller battery of course is it's lighter so it's quite a bit lighter as well the the bigger battery in the explore is 457 kilograms the battery in this urban model is 317 kilograms now a couple of things that that gives you one is it helps the lower uh, power motor feel a bit stronger than it otherwise would um, but also it should help in efficiency if the car's a bit lighter so on that front, we see with the Explore model, um, you get around four miles per kilowatt hour. And with this urban model, uh, we've seen around four miles per kilowatt hour. So maybe that doesn't play out. Um, admittedly, we haven't covered hundreds and hundreds of miles in this car yet, um, but it doesn't look like it's going to be hugely more efficient of the two. Right, so there you have it, the Soul EV Urban, I think is a really good addition to Kia's range. It's its cheapest electric car that Kia offers. Um, like I say, priced around 33,000 pounds, so not the cheapest EV on the market by any stretch, but it gives a much more affordable entry price point to an electric Kia, and Kia is building some of the, what we rate as some of the best electric cars around at the moment. 
Um, I better go now and update Vicky's review to get rid of that bit about needing a cheaper entry level model. Um, but don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and watch out for more reviews.